Look at that girl in the corner. She looks so peaceful. I wish I could be that at peace. I'm always worried about something. Like what? Like school, my appearance, or even little things. I think we all have little things we worry about sometimes. It doesn't mean we're not at peace on the inside. I think I'm quite at peace most of the time. You at peace? How? You're like the most unpeaceful person I know. You're always running around, being late, or frantically looking for your phone. I mean, looking peaceful on the outside may be meditating or doing some yoga. And I'm not saying that doesn't work for some people. But you never really know what's going on in someone's head or in someone's heart just by how they appear or even what they say. I'll give you an example. Did you see what Amelia was wearing today? Yes, a pair of black trousers and this really old jumper. Oh my, it's so bad. She should really pay more attention to her looks because first impression matters. That is so true. You can always tell when someone is just by how they look. And the way she is looking isn't saying that good things about her. After I heard this, I ran away crying. I just sat in a corner and probably cried for ages. Then I asked, why me God? What did I ever do to them to deserve this? Then what happened? After a while, I started feeling a bit better. I had talked out my problems with God and I felt like he had listened to me. And although my eyes were still very red and quite puffy from all the crying, inside I felt calm like the storm inside of me had just settled. So the next day, do you remember when we were standing in the queue for lunch and there were two guys in front of us saying mean things about Alice? Yeah, I remember that. Did you see Alice today? She was wearing so much makeup. Yeah, she was, and she's trying her hardest. Yeah, it was really bad. I don't think you should be talking about your friend like that and not just judging her by her appearance and bullying her. Why did you stand up to them though? Didn't Alice say mean things about you? Yes, she did. I could have started spreading horrible rumours about them, but then I remembered this verse in the Bible that talks about treating others as you would like to be treated. I stopped them because I knew what it felt like to have someone say mean things about you, and I wouldn't want anyone else to feel that way too. You're right, I don't imagine that it would be a good feeling. Do you know what happened after that I didn't expect? What? Hi. Hi. I overheard you defending me yesterday to those guys at lunch. Why did you do it? Because they were saying mean things about you. But why did you do it? I know you heard me saying mean things about you. Why me, of all people? Because I know exactly how it feels when other people say mean things about me behind my back and I didn't want you to feel the same. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean any of those things I said about you. I was just feeling bad about myself and I wanted to deflect it onto someone else. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay. So you see, even though someone may look or act a certain way on the outside, never really know whether they're at peace on the inside. So how do we be at peace? In the Bible it says that we could be filled with peace if we read and follow God's word. <laughs>